welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back at it again with another match reaction. And today is Manchester United 5, Bournemouth 2. Another three points in the back, guys. We are looking like a team that's got attacking swagger. The je ne sais quoi about our team. We're looking pretty, we're looking buff. I'm enjoying it. I love today's game. I love the performance of such individuals such as Bruno Fernandes and also Mason Greenwood. So guys, we started the game off in very good possession of the ball. We was very much in control in the first 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden, Bournemouth out of luck. Um, also with a defensive errors, guys, from Harry Maguire and Paul goalkeeping by David De Gea. We conceded the first goal. But I have to say, I cannot blame David De Gea for that goal. I have to blame Harry Maguire because he was turned so easily. Harry, I don't know what happened to you there. He, if all of a sudden, he was just slow. He couldn't handle it. He got turned by Junior Stanislas. Stanislas, sorry about that. And then from De Gea's uh, Moscow near corner, he conceded. And I have to say, it was very, very, very poor, poor, poor goal to concede. But guys, even when we conceded, I wasn't scared. I had it in my heart that, hmm, yeah, we conceded. But Bournemouth, watch out. I'm not sure. I have the confidence that the boys will come back. And their head didn't drop. Because guys, previously, you know in the past, once we concede the first goal, the boys' head would drop though all of a sudden become half-hearted look at each other like guys i don't know what's going on today but i don't think it's going to be a good game today and all of a sudden just give up on everything but today no not today guys not today all of a sudden mason greenwood ruthless guy gunman greenwood boy all of a sudden he gets fed in by bruno fernandez with the assist slaps it in the top corner top bins Mason Greenwood, special talent, guys. Special, special talent, Mason Greenwood is, guys. Such, such, such brilliant, brilliant football player we have in him. And the limit's sky high for him, guys. What do you think of Mason Greenwood's first goal? Did you enjoy it? And then all of a sudden, penalty came towards us for, for Marcus Rashford to score his first goal since his injury and to just to build up his confidence. Although I personally thought that Mace, um, Mason Greenwood or Bruno Fernandes should have taken the, um, the penalty or Paul Popper, but uh, Mark Rafa stepped up and scored, made it 2 1. And out of nowhere, Martial, you, Martial was having one of those games where he was being involved with everything, setting up the plays, a uh, couple of interchanges, one twos, holding the ball up very, very well. And guys, you have to acknowledge what Martial is doing as a number nine. He's holding up the ball. He's getting into positions where you have to hold the ball. And he wins fouls. He wins fouls. And during the first half, towards the end of the first half, he thought, nah, burn you guys. Nah. Mason scored. Rashford scored. Nah, I'm going to get a goal. All of a sudden, cut it in. Top corner. Finesse the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper did not know what he was doing. Goalkeeper was lost. Goalkeeper probably thought to himself, boy, today I'm going to have a hard day. Because it was 3 1 at half time. We went into the half time 3 1 up, and from there, Bournemouth had no chance. No chance. Not. We started off the second half. Another poor, poor defensive display and defensive mistake by Eric Bailly, where I thought he was very much unlucky and unfortunate as he chested the ball with his. As, actually, as the ball hit his shoulder where they gave it for a penalty, where it did happen in the box, and also a handball. And I just thought it was very much unfortunate for the for Eric Bay. But then again, Eric Bay does do rash things. So, Bournemouth went, scored a second goal from Joshua King, made it 3-2. And then from there, all of a sudden, Mason Green will come again with another one. Another one. Another top beam, bang, out of nowhere. Gunman, brrr, into the top corner. Goalkeeper had no chance again. Goalkeeper must be asking himself, bruv, this kid, what is he on? Allow it, man. I, I'm too old for this. You can't be doing this to me. You're, you're 18 and I'm probably like 30 years old and I shouldn't be doing this. My, I got kids. I got kids. Stop it, Mason. Stop it. Mason Greenwood made it 4-2 with an excellent goal. Excellent finish. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then Bruno Fernandes come with the cherry on top with a delightful free kick. Simple. Making it 5-2. Another goal by Bruno Fernandes. Another wonderful performance by Bruno Fernandes. Such 
a difference he has made to this team. He is all of a sudden the glue to everything that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is trying to do at Manchester United. And guys, you gotta you gotta have to you know take some pride and take something out of this today as well. I've, I've we have witnessed a number of performance where it's been consistent from the start to the end in terms of controlling the game, possession, passing, creating chances. There, in this game, I'm very sure you guys knew that you was never in doubt of losing this game. It was just how many, how many are we going to score? And the game ended 5-2. The game ending 5-2, another three points in the bag. It's looking good right now. We're currently sitting fourth until Chelsea play. Let's hope it stays like that. Let's hope we we re remain in that fourth pace. And guys, let's go straight into the man of the match. And you know who it is. It's Mason Gunman Greenwood with the man of the match. He was, let's say, simply, simply good today. He kept everything well, with tidy with the ball, picking up some good passes, ruthless with his finishing. And boy, boy, this beef between Mason Greenwood versus Martellini. Bro, what are you man's on like? Ask me, what, what are you on like? What are you on? How can you just compare Martellini, who's been having more starts than Mason Greenwood as, as well, to just be honest with you, um, where this guy's got 15 goals, seven, eight starts, and you want to compare Martellini. Martellini's a very good, very good um, talent. But you just don't do that. Just don't do that because Arsenal don't have the best track record of nurturing young talents, especially when they get into the first team. Something goes wrong. Look at Frimpong. Look at Wilshire. Look at look at um, whoa they had Gail Clichy, um, Kieran Gibbs. All these players that come from the Arsenal academy ended up doing nothing. The only player that's come out of Arsenal's academy who has done well, a young player they've nurtured. It's only Ashley Cole who has been successful, but we know how to do things. We have a track record of this. So, guys, with your Martinelli versus Mason Greenwood, Mason Greenwood is far more better than Martinelli. Guys, you told me who your man in the match was, if whether you think it was Mason Greenwood. And, guys, remember, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. My donkey of the match today, David De Gea, I thought he was pretty much awful. He made a lot of mistakes, especially with distributing the ball and passing it. He made errors with his passes, almost led into a goal. Today, he didn't have his best games, especially when it came to distributing the ball. He was lucky, although the defence never helped him. But still, David here, you need to be careful. You need to be careful. I'm going to back you forever and ever, our men. But, but if you keep on doing this, it's going to be very hard for people like me who appreciates loyalty, you know, and appreciates good players, and I always have believed that this player will be back to his best. Listen, don't don't lose my backing, because I'm not down for this. I'm not down to get roast by you, David De Gea, with my friends saying, I thought you said David De Gea would get back, and I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. It's not my fault. It's his fault. But yeah, back to the player rating, guys. We start off in goal, of course, the donkey of the match, which is David De Gea. Him today, I've got to say, I'm going to have to give David De Gea six because he was awful. We have our right back, Evergreen Forever. Aaron Spider-Man wan -Bissaka. I'm going to give him a seven today. Wonderful. And today, because Lindelof got injured in the first 45 minutes, he wasn't... He, there was time he got exposed. I would give him a five and then everybody came on again and I would give him a five as well. With Harry Maguire in defence today, did pretty much well today, pretty good things. I'm going to give him a seven. With Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw got himself involved with the football and with the attacking play as well. So today, Luke Shaw, I would also give him a seven. Nemanja Matic, wonderful player. I'm glad that he's back to his best. Welcome back from the slumber that you had in the in, in preseason. You finally woke up ever since you got into the team. Today again, he was wonderful. I would give him. A7 as well. Paul Pogba, four game he has been consistent. It's really helping with Bruno Fernandes, just taking away all the pressure off of him. And when Matt is taking some of that pressure too in the midfield, I'm going to give him a seven. He was very effective and efficient. 
Bruno Fernandes, excellent with a goal. I believe he had two assists. I will be giving him a solid eight. And with with Mason Gruen, our man of the match, my man of the match, he is getting a nine because he was just too much today. Two goals, two goals again. He's just doing well. 15 goals this season with Mark Rashford. I will give him a seven. I, although he could have done a bit more than what he, he gave us today because he did get his first goal. I'm just going to give him a seven because he got the goal. Martial was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Again, working hard, getting the ball back, tracking back, holding the ball, passing the game, but getting the wingers into play as well, getting them involved and scoring that wonderful goal. Today, I'm going to have to give him an eight as well. And with the play, the manager's rating, sorry, early tactics, defensively, he wasn't that great in terms of the way he set up the team defensively. But attacking, everything went well today. So with Oli today, I'm going to score him a seven. And guys, that's it for the show. I've enjoyed it. It's been wonderful, guys. What a lovely way to end the week with just goals after goals after goals. Winning 3-1 well at the start of the week and then winning 5-2 at the, towards the end of the week. It's been good. It's been looking good for Manchester United. And I would like to say we're back, but I don't want to get attacked and roasted. Do you get me, guys? But, guys, it's been wonderful. Remember to subscribe to the channel and press that, smash that like button. And give me some likes and subscribe. And remember to follow the socials as well, where you have gone past the two... Thousand followers on the Red United TV one with Red United TV's official Instagram account. Remember, follow the socials. All the, the social links are above there and also in the link description, guys. Remember to keep it peaceful, be humble, enjoy, love, support Man United. Glory, glory, Man United. Peace out, guys. I've already spice out.